subroutines and the stack. Let's go through some definitions. So a subroutine is a section of the program which can be called anywhere within the main program and it saves having to write it multiple times. So it might be something you need to do several times like waiting for an input or a delay loop or something. Program counter is a register in the CPU and it stores the address of the next instruction that's going to be carried out. Stack pointer is also a register in the CPU and stores the address of the next location in the stack. And the stack itself is an area of memory and it's used to store the contents of the program counter during subroutines. So when the subroutine is called, what we've got to do is copy the contents of the program counter to the stack so it goes into the area of memory. Uh, the stack pointer usually starts at the highest location. So what we're going to do is we're going to decrease the stack pointer to point to the next free location uh, below that. I'm going to copy the address of the subroutine label to the program counter. Coming back from the subroutine, I'm going to increase the stack pointer so this gets us to the uh, contents of the program counter where we stored it before. So we're going to content, uh, copy the contents of the stack back to the program counter. This could best be illustrated by doing an example. So we've got a program which has got three subroutines in. As usual, if we're carrying out this first instruction, the program counter is pointing at the next instruction there, because that's the next that we're going to carry out. So the next instruction is a subroutine. So what we're going to do first of all is copy the contents of the program counter into the stack. So here's the stack. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to decrease the stack pointer so it moves, so it's pointing at the next location. Then what we've got to do, we've got to find a label. So the label here is at 1, 0, and that's going to be copied into the program counter. So this will be the next line that we do. So we carry out this next line. So we've got this next instruction. We carry on as usual. The program counter points to the next instruction, and the next instruction, and again the next instruction. We've got a subroutine that we're calling. So again, what we're going to do is copy the contents of the program counter, 1, 3 in this case, to the next location in the stack. Decrease the stack pointer to point to the next free location. we will find where more is. More is the label that's at address 2, 0. So it goes into the program counter. And then what we're going to do, next thing we do, this will be the next instruction that we carry out. And again, program counter just points to the next line and it does so again. But now we've hit the return. What happens with the return? Stack pointer moves up. The contents of the stack gets copied into the program counter. So it's now 1, 3. So we're now going to be doing this line next. So we've returned from this subroutine. We've carried out instruction uh, subroutine more. We've come back to this, uh, this part of the program. Now again, this time we've got a subroutine. So what we need to do is copy the contents of the program counter, which is 1, 5. Now the stack pointer is pointing to this one. doesn't matter that there's data there. We're going to write over it again. And then we decrease the stack pointer. And then we find the address also. So there's the address for also, 3, 0. And that goes into the program counter, meaning the next instruction we carry out now is this one. Next instruction, we've got a return again. So we increase the stack pointer. Contents from the stack goes into the program counter, which brings us back up to here. So we called this subroutine, gone through the subroutine, and we've come back to the next line afterwards. This is also a return. Stack pointer goes up. Contents of the stack goes into the program counter. So we jump up here. So what we've done is we called the subroutine. We jumped into this one. Within this one, we had two subroutines, and we come back to the next line there.